Um, I'm sorry, you want to do what? Uh, I'm thinking about getting a tattoo. Why? I just feel like somebody would end up liking uh, to have. Where would you even put it? Granted, with your muscle mass, you would have ample room, I suppose. But seriously, where are you on my back? Then what would the point of having him? Just saying. It could be cool. Are you planning on being shirtless as a hero? Well, I, I, I would never read a lot of like that, but... Hmm. Okay, okay. So, you want a tattoo. Do you have anything in mind? Yeah. I don't know why, but this one design just spoke to me. Of course, it would be the idea of white beer pirates. It goes, like, why? It just came to me in a dream. Uh, seems like something you put at a pirate flag. Hmm. What? What does hmm mean? What, what are you talking about? See, that doesn't sound too bad. What? I'm just saying. Pirates are pretty cool. You clearly haven't been paying attention to history, but still, of all things, okay, Mom, how about this? If I, okay, listen, if I get the money for the tattoo. So then will you allow me to get said tattoo? Okay, fine. Great! Oh, this will be called up here, she was and so like what? Oh yeah. You you you're gonna why would you need to tell them anything? We're getting tattoos together. What? <laughs> it's just you. Oh, yeah. Actually, we've had this idea for a good bit. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, we've had this idea for a while. And their parents are okay with this. Oh, yeah, we, we, uh, pretty much let it be known that, heck, if we pay for it, and we're not going to go cry babies about it. But putting it on your back, wouldn't that hurt a lot? I mean, it's a needle. It's a just constantly piercing your skin. It's, yeah, it's gonna hurt. You're sure, you're, you're, all three of you are sure you want to do this? Yeah. Heck, we, we already came up with the money for it. How did they come up with it? Yeah. yeah. You're spotting them, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, their parents did not expect them to come up with the money either. A part of me is proud of your severness, but a part of me is very upset with how you're using it. Yeah. Yeah. But everything, yep. I want the 
Wait, you still need a parent. Oh, that's right. Upon Izuku, Shinzo, and Kirishima getting their tattoos, they are very happy. Let's see the end result. The only thing is Kirishima was upset considering that as soon as he does harden his skin, it looks fucked up as hell. Just like you made the design, but now you just you covered up a piece of paper and just unfolded it. It looks fucked up whenever he, he uses his quirk. This is the only downside he can really see. Izuku, him looking at it. I am very proud of this. I don't, I, I don't know why, but I am very proud of this. Uh, whatever. Let's just get ready for school tomorrow. I'm <sighs> exhausted. <laughs> What's so funny? Still, they used to. You're my teacher. You play what? Yeah. Yo, uh, Aizawa, it's strange. I mean, you have his nonchalant attitude, you seem to have his scary as hell smile. Excuse me? Yeah, Racer right just pulling up a picture of him. Character was like, see? You guys could be twins! Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, that dang! You're not kidding. You look like an older version of me, but with black hair, right? Seriously, man. Imagine if your course were similar. I might need to make some calls. That might be my long lost uncle or something. Crap. I doubt it's that serious. What do you? Uh, we gotta get ready for this whole rescue training thing. <sighs> so. Yeah. Huh. Don't tell me you've been staying up past midnight, Pops. Huh? Oh, no. It's just. Yeah, hero training. What? Oh, why right, your internship with Mount Lady? How's that going, by the way? Did <laughs> you notice? Considering how uh, that yawn was, I say pretty damn well. She's still feeling the pure malice behind Izuku's gaze. Say, like, oh man, did. Don't tell me Kirishima's stupidness is starting to rub off on me. Don't tell me I'm about to die like this. So you pretty much get ready to punch him, but Shinzo, it's mom and dad, and as well as Inko, also, don't do this. Please don't. Give me a second. I'm... Trying to stay calm here. Right now, he's really starting to test my patience. He's starting to really take advantage of my kind nature. Just don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. He's he's pushing his boundaries. Heck, I'd be the crap out of Kirishima. Every time he has a smartest comment, what makes you so, so different? He can't hurt his skin like you. Or Kirishima. Hey, I don't harm my skin. I just have armor. Whatever. Just... 
Try not to hurt him too bad. Mom? No, oh, don't you mind me. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Here he is, you can start to crack his knuckles. Chizo has no choice but to pray to whatever god he believes in. Waking up a bunch of bruises, and uh, he has a swollen eye. You are traitors! You should yeah, mess with the person who can easily body everyone in this room. Seriously. Tell Pops, just don't. Don't make it so I had to go to the hospital. Huh. How many times I got to tell you stop calling me Pops? It doesn't matter. You can't stop me from saying it. True. It's like you can't stop me from whooping your ass. Also true. Tell you what. I'll refrain from calling you Pops every so often. And you stop acting like a dad every so often. I'm not gonna ask you, that's a pretty good deal. Like, I, I don't see no real downside to that. Except you and Kirishima are idiots who will get yourselves into trouble more often than not. Uh, you can't let me in. The same league as Kirishima? Excuse me? Yeah. You, you, you can't ask. You can just act like I am the only one. Um, don't play dumb, Kirishima. You know, you really do things just to get on Pop's nerves. <laughs> eh, yeah, yeah, I really do. Anyway, we gotta get ready for a rescue train tomorrow. What about you, Shinzo? Well, I'm not in your class yet, so... Wait, what? Huh? Oh, wait, y'all don't know about that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be fun. He said, What was he talking about? Um, like, don't worry about it. You have nothing to worry about. Next day, it's that hard. Think of SJ. He said, You could already feel more than one presence in there. As he can make out the outline of 13, there's a lot of other factors that he's picking up as well. Want to warn Aizawa? But it's also Aizawa. No, no, no. I really don't. I appreciate you for reacting. That is until the villains start their attack. And Izuku. In Kirishima, start going ham. And, though, yes, they do hella well. It's the main fact that, uh, yeah, Shigaraki being a man child at this stage, and Kogiri doing whatever it takes to keep him protected, and trying to make this whole plan work, of course, they get separated. Izuku, using his trimmer powers, yeah, that's, that's not so easy, considering it is a devil fruit that he's eaten, and he is not prepared for the ocean, the shipwreck zone, so probably does still end up having to protect him. 
but it's the fact that he was weakened by this that really caught him off guard. Because by the time, yes, they know how strong he is. And seeing as his weakness is actually water, he's like, what the hell? Who, who, who are you? Unbreakable? Wait, I don't know. I'm just saying, you're strong as hell. It's like, water? It's your weakness? Are you kidding me? They start talking mad trashy. Zuko's like, why did I save you from being expelled again? I'll behave. He's even seeing this as a chance to try out some new techniques. So like, okay. All I have to do is cause enough vibrations in which I don't have to worry about water. What? Yeah, even though yes, it seems like the water is a problem for me. As long as I can concentrate my vibrations to a certain point, him causing just the right amount to seem like he's somewhat floating. He's like, you can fly now? No. No. Anything is more like a slight hover. As he just jumps off the ship, and they were looking like, this motherfucker's walking on water. No, he's walking on water. <laughs> this bastard is walking on water. He's just doing nothing but showing off at this point. Droppy's shocked, flabbergasted. I can't believe this is actually happening. Isuku explaining is like, Heck, there's an animal that does this at a more exaggerated level, but still. That animal has wet feet and has to run a lot faster. You are walking. So, which point? And with this weakness of Izuku is pretty much dealt with, he takes care of the villains in the shipwreck zone. When Froppy and Manad do join him, he does know that Shigaraki is right there about to touch Sue. And when he throws that punch, he puts all his strength into it. Much to the point where Manadou does end up blocking it, its arm is thrown back. Shocking Shigaraki, seeing the Zuko like, okay, so you're the real threat around here. Pretty much having Nobu take care of him first. Though, yes, he, he wants Eraser Head to be dealt with. Eraser Head's already busy with a bunch of villains. If anything, one of the main things that can take down any real good soldier is overwhelming numbers. So, he's going to have to Pull his chips in that basket. Is it you versus the Nomu? Yeah. Though Izuku does get punched, thanks to the armor he constantly surrounds himself with, made of vibrations, he absorbs a good amount of shock. It's just the fact that these punches are strong as hell, to the point where Shigaraki does say, yeah, we're Made it so it's the strongest all might. Izuku is shocked to think that someone could be that strong. And as soon as it breaks through Izuku's armor, this is when he really starts feeling the stress. And Shigaraki starts talking more shit. Saying, yeah, we also put shock absorption, average regeneration, with a super strength mixed. So yeah, you're pretty much screwed. Excuse me? You said it has shock absorption? Yeah. Hyperspeed regeneration? Mm -hmm. And super strength? 
Correct! <laughs> Ready to give up and die now? Do you have any idea what you've done? Hmm? What do you mean? You made the perfect punching bag. What? Izuku starts going all Jotaro on Star Platinum on the Nomu. Pretty much making it so, yes, though he does have shock absorption, that doesn't mean that it doesn't feel the shock. Just because it can uh, take a punch, there's got to be a limit to it. It can only take so much the hyperspeed generation. Yeah, that's a good thing, too. Uh, but when you're up against someone who normally controls their power, as well as someone who now knows that it's not a living, well, it's not human anymore, per se. Yeah, that's when things get very different. Izuku has no problem with killing it. So he turns up the intensity. He increases the tempo to a point where you... There are intentions in the Nomu body to a point where there are chunks being blown out of him. Izuku, he goes for the head and kills it. Shigaraki, pissed at this, sees a like, okay, I have got to get rid of this bastard. He got rid of the Nomu that was meant to kill All Might by himself. No support. But I think it's kind of my fault, because I couldn't keep my mouth shut. But who cares? I'll blame him anyway. Him, somebody to kill her again. To, like, it's time for me and him to get more acquainted. He needs to be a more hands-on combatant. So, yes. Well, all the other students and teachers that are there are pretty much... Yeah, find all the other extra villains. Kodagiri and Shigaraki are going up against Izuku. Kodagiri making a bunch of portals around Izuku, pretty much shrouding him in darkness. Izuku is a. Uh, he's in a tight spot considering not only can he not see, there's someone who's able to actually disintegrate him. Because, albeit, it's not that hard to get past the armor where you can actually destroy everything you touch with those mitts. So Izuku has to listen for every single sound, every instant, any change. Using his echolocation ability, even close his eyes to the max, just so Shigaraki can't get a failed touch on him. One thing is, he uh, is gone. But all my still... Not being at 100%, yeah, it's going to take a lot for him to really get there, plus with the other heroes that he is looking for. To the point where, yeah, there's a chance Izuku might be on his knees after this fight. That is until once he does feel like his energy spent. He realizes something. He knows exactly where and when Shigaraki is attacking. Almost as if he's seeing the future. And this is, of course, observation hockey. Lucky! So, mix that with his echolocation. It becomes a lot more easy to defend and more importantly, attack. Though, yes, he can't really fight Kodagiri. All he has to do is get a good grip on Shigaraki and Kodagiri will pretty much be forced to submit. 
Still not that easy considering Shigaraki is being fast as hell with the portal switching, but Izuku can manage if he gets this whole sensing where he's gonna be down. Technically, he does get a hold of Shigaraki. Well, the thing is, Shigaraki speaks up on him with one of his other hands and touches his back. It breaks through his armor, but luckily his costume is still in the way, which is still pretty strong, albeit it doesn't last long. Though Izuku has to make it quick, so he breaks one of Shigaraki's arms, forcing him to back off. Koragiri having no choice but to find a way to get Izuku to let go. So, he starts making Izuku sink down into one of his portals, threatening that if he doesn't let go of Shigaraki, he's going to get cut in half. So, Izuku has to weigh the pros and cons. His thing is that this is, will be a worthy way to be a hero. This, this is how I choose to go. What? I am not backing down from this fight. What? Shall so you in half? Don't let him go. And? <laughs> Scared of death? No. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. You're saying you're okay with. Dying. Uh huh. Wow, when people call villains crazy. You are you are a different breed, aren't you? But this is when the unthinkable happens. Shigaraki has his foot transport right to uh, Izuku's groin. As strong as Izuku is, that's the weakness of all men. You ain't even there, you ain't shit. Then again, in a real fight, there are no rules. Uh, look at Baki. So, Izuku does not let go of Shigaraki, but this gives Shigaraki more than enough time to attack, especially when he still has a free hand. So, yeah, he starts to game Izuku's front. It's when he tries to go for the back. Again, is when Izuku gets even more ferocious. He's already mad. I got hit there. It's like, you dare attack my back. I am not. Go again, just, just get us out of here. This guy is weird. This guy is weird. Are you sure you don't want to finish him off? I'm not sure if I can. Because seriously, got at least one or two of his arteries. Who's going to go for the jugular? I'm almost dead, but no, it, it, this is weird. Who is this going to be? He's weird. Are you sure, sir? Yes. Seriously. Or could he? This tendons, he ain't going nowhere. His hair career is over. We ain't get to kill all my... We'll take the L. But why leave me empty-handed? Him looking back at you, Zuku, the crazy motherfucker. Don't you dare try to be a hero again. Yeah, that's the end of that. Izuku pretty much <laughs> on his knees. Hurt. As he is uh, looking pretty much like he got defeated. As long as he's still alive, he's, he gets us a W. 
Everyone looking at his tattoo. Say, where did he get that? Here he was. Guys, you do know I have one too, right? Huh? So, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, this is when you have one. I got mine the same day as you got his. How could y'all not notice by now? Uh, don't really pay attention to when it comes to you. What? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Is then they see how badly wounded he was. Wow. If anything, wait. Did they cut his? How is he still? Wait, he's on his knees. How is that possible? Yeah, she was just adding. Like, Chances are, if they didn't do that, he would still be standing. Then Izuku, out of nowhere, just picks himself up. Then looking, he wouldn't dare. Seeing that though he stumbles, he starts walking again, film calling bullshit on the sheer principle, like, how are you doing this? Izuku just looking at Kirishima, are you alright? Did you really just ask me that? Yes, are you okay, Kirishima? Ask, ask me that again. Please. Let's see if I'm okay again. Um, okay, are you? As he gets soft by Kira, she was like, why did you do that? You ask me if I'm okay when you are bleeding from your... <laughs> Seriously. Then All Might shows up, seeing Zuku in such a horrid state. Where's the cover girl? Then looking back at her, like, how are you still walking? How are you standing? Yeah, I wanted to. Oh, she. What? No. I call BS on that. It's impossible. Well, I, I'm doing it. I see that. There's no way. How? No, I just wanted to get stand and stand up again. That's a, whatever. You, 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 no, yeah, you, you, you just do you. Just, I, hmm. I don't know what to say. It's just as weird as this world is. Ugh. I don't know. Nothing just surprised me. Anymore. Then Mount Lake does end up bursting through the door. Does he with the hear that villains have attacked UA? And so she sees Izuku. He is horrifying. Her right to him. Izuku is having a slight smile before he just tilts forward. Her catching him and seeing the tattoo on his back. Where did you get this? Huh? Don't play dummy. Where did you get this? The tattoo part. No. This design. What do you mean? 
Why do you have these insignia of the Whitebeard Pirates? Wait, wait, Whitebeard Pirates? What? I, I don't know who that is. Then she sees Kirishima's tattoo. You have one too? Yeah, it was Izuku's idea. Really? And what about the other one? The purple haired one? Yeah, he has one too. What of it? You, you, yeah, you're, you're coming to me. <laughs> what? Excuse me, young lady. That there's my patient. Oh. Did you see he's injured? Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Fine. I guess I'll give him to you. You see, that I take him by force. He needs medical attention. He does not need to be interrogated by you. Okay, slow your roll, Granny. Don't you call me that ever again. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And that's better. Alright, since you already got him, there you go to the infirmary for me. Let's go. Yes, ma'am. Paul needs to be waking up. He does notice that the cover girl is looking down at him. It's a shame on you for getting this hurt. But then you still see my old lady and all my Kirishima tell his mom and Shinzo. Much. Okay. Explain to us what happened. You killed someone. No. Artificially made. What? Yeah. yeah. That Nomu thing was artificially made. You're serious? Mm -hmm. uh, from what I can tell, yeah, it was brain dead. You only knew how to follow orders at that point. Heck, the guy with the hands all over his body pretty much said that they put three quirks in the poor bastard. What? Yeah, super strength, shock absorption, hyperspeed regeneration. What? Wait a minute. Yeah, that. Those quirks, that would. Yeah, it was meant to kill you. What? Yep. Tell me about it. We thought I was losing. That thing was meant to kill me. Huh. Well. Share fire and save matches. What? Eh, don't worry about it. Eh, funny thing. Wait. It was keeping quirks? Yeah. What the? No, 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 no. That's impossible. What? Is it? Uh, mm, nothing, nothing. Um. Thing, you uh, carry on with your day, and I'll go out to make some calls. As then, now it's my lady's turn for her interrogation. Okay, what do you know about pirates? Pretty much having the whole history of non One Piece canon. My lady. Just shuts all that down, like, no. Ugh. Alright, let me tell you how this really is. Pretty much explaining the whole thing with One Piece, how the world is a lot bigger than they really knew or let alone can explore. Her getting to the point about the one piece and then the whole devil fruit 
expect the devil for wait a minute. Huh. Remember that weird looking fruit you ate, Pops? Wait. Yeah, what about it? Do you think that could have been one of those devil fruits? My lady just looking at you ate a devil fruit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I ate fruit. I don't know about this devil fruit. Well, for one, devil fruits taste terrible. Check. What? Oh, yeah, the fruit I ate tasted god awful. They have any spirals or anything? Yeah. Oh, good lord. Wait. Did you used to swim? Mm -hmm. Could you swim before? Yeah. Did you lose your ability to swim? Uh, answer me. Yes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Does STEM have a spiral too? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Next question. What color was it? Mm, I say blue. Okay. What, what was the shape? What, what, what kind of shape did it have? What was it? Hmm. I say it was somewhat like a hmm board or we know a pear shape, and you ate it. Yeah. Well, really, I couldn't eat the whole thing because it it was terrible. But you swallowed. Yeah, you didn't spit it. N no. Here she was shop. I was going to say anything. I swear. Just childish ass. Anyway, what does this matter? Yep, you definitely ate a double fruit. And now you can't swim. So, you, at very least you'll be weakened the longer you stay in salt water. What? Oh, yeah. That's the whole, that's the real downside of eating one of those devil fruits. Huh. So I will never be able to swim in salt water again. That sucks, considering where I live. Oh, believe me, back in the world of One Piece, it was so much worse. Water... <laughs> Heck, there weren't any real continent continents. There were mainly islands. It was a lot worse back then. But what I'm really excited to learn about is why you have white beer symbol on your back. Well, I don't know. I just felt like, wait, they call you Pops, you act like a father. <laughs> oh my. What, what, what? Chances are you might be either a descendant or somehow related to Whitebeard. Huh? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Whitebeard. He was one of the most powerful pirates until his dying day. He never ran from a fight. He always stood his ground. He didn't even have one scratch or scar on his back. What? Oh, yeah. In front of him, 
real with scars. It was a gruesome sight, but his back was clean, untouched, besides, yeah, you know, I don't know. Wait. Huh. For some reason, I did not want the handsy guy to get to my back. Yep, sounds like you're a reincarnation. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, it sounds like you're a reincarnation of, well, white beard. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, heck, there were also rumors that his devil fruit power could potentially destroy the world. Just break it, crumble it to pieces. You're serious. Mm hmm. Uh, seriously. For one, when he died, not only did, was he suffering from an Ill what, uh, illness. Damn, I can't talk right now. Also, he was bleeding a good bit. There was a cannonball that went through his chest. Excuse me? Yeah. Well, technically, that's not what killed him, per se. But it didn't help him. What? what? Did kill him then. What? Well, I think I would have done it. But before he did die, <laughs> he did allow everyone to know the truth about the One Piece. And what truth is that? Oh, that was real. Huh? Oh, yeah. One Piece was real. You're kidding me. So, will fame, power, all, oh yeah. And that just ignited even more pirate activity. Woo I mean, it was, uh, wait, 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 wait. How do you know all this? Well, uh, as then, not late, is it? Oh, I can't believe I'm showing you this. Her pulling up the leg of her costume. Izuku, Shinzo, and Kirishima being very attentive when it comes to seeing. Inko being pissed. But I'm a fan of. As, yeah, she has a high heart white beard tattoo. But, huh. And also, as then she starts uh, pulling down her costume, Izuku's definitely trying to pay attention and go smacking him upside the head for being so crass. I had the same tattoo. No kidding. So, that explains why I've never seen it before. So help me God, if you did, I would castrate you. Good point, good point, good point. Good thing I didn't see a damn thing. Wait. Well, I found a devil fruit. Yeah, congratulations. Not everyone's so lucky. Wait, but that means there are others out there. Huh. I guess it is. Huh. Interesting. Oh. Oh, oh no. You finally understand what I'm getting at. Yeah, that's... Oh no, that's terrible. Oh, that's that's bad. That's very, very, very bad. Oh. I'm I'm sorry. What? 
You see, as strong as Whitebeard was, not only did he have the devil fruit, but he also had Conqueror's Hockey and Armor and all right, all right. Hey, what? What's hockey? Worry about that later. But devil fruits. If one is here, chances are there's countless others. Which also means, sadly, what? There could be other devil fruit users. And considering. Oh. Oh. Yeah, chances are things are going to get very bad very quickly. If anything, we need to start looking for more devil fruits. Which, luckily, I have found one. Really? Which one is it? Yeah. If anything, it looks like from that research, it was the Flare Flare Fruit. What? what? Yeah. Flare Flare Fruit. Flare Flare Fruit. Who came up with these names? A genius. Uh. <sighs> okay, fine. Wait, then which one did White Beard and. Well, apparently, well, do I have the Tremor Tremor Fruit? Heck, you can make a crack in space. What? Yeah, you can literally push the air and cause a crack. You can cause earthquakes. You can make the whole. You can make a crater right now if you were strong enough. You made the you know, earthquakes we already experienced seem like nothing but any bitty tremors. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Seriously, I mean, white beer. He was huge, huh? Oh yeah, he was a big one. Oh, he wasn't a giant. He was larger than normal. Huh. Wait, giants existed? Oh, yeah. Technically, they probably still do. They just... But if anything, you should really be cautious of fishmen. What? Yeah, they... they from what I can see, they really don't like humans. Like, they hold a real disdain for humans, especially the celestial dragons. Who? Oh. Look, I can explain everything now, which I don't think I have nearly enough time for, or I could just summarize it. Uh, I'm not so sure. Yeah, let's just say the world used to be a lot more crazy. I mean, seriously, someone actually be a god. What? Uh, Jezar wasn't really him, but it was someone who. I mean, they happened to some island had wings. No. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna go back to bed. What? What? Yeah, yeah. This is this is a lot for me to just try to process all at once. I think it would just be best if I just go back to sleep and pretend none of this transpired. If anything, I I wish you the Best of luck. Wait, wait, you can't do that. Watch me. I'll love to see you try to stop me from doing what I want. Mm. 
What if I told you that I know how to make you stronger? I'm already playing strong. Ooh, not compared to some of the possible devil fruit users. Go on. I'm just saying. Why are the devil fruit? Is uh, no laughing matter. Though, yes, depending on which one you end up getting. Wait, what do you mean one? Oh, yeah, you can only eat one devil fruit. Though there are exceptions. Hmm. What? Yeah, there was this one jerk. <laughs> Teach. Well, they will call him Blackbeard. Yeah, he was a real jerk. And he actually stole Whitebeard's devil fruit. What? Oh, yeah, it was devastating. <laughs> Beautiful to see that. Especially since he just passed away, too. It was just. Barrack. And then there's a damn scientist who made artificial dill fruits. Granted, egg. <laughs> huh. Sorry. Chances are going to get one dill fruit. Yep. If anything, we do wonder how Blackbeard was able to get two of them. At least two powers. But whatever research he did to acquire that, he most likely uh, took that to his grave. Well, dang. That would have came in handy. So, hmm. Tell me, what... Can you tell me anything more about these devil fruits? No. There are three types. Which each can have a certain level of effectiveness and whatever. Like Logia, Promethea, Zoan. Zoan. Like in animals. And then again, they have their own special categories. At least, mm, there's mythical and just regular old Zolan. Wait, mythical? Like what? Like, um, Phoenix? Or heck, a you know, dragon or something like that? What? Yeah. I mean, the Elfers have. A lot of uh, potential, depending on who uses it. I mean, oh yes, sometimes you have trash owners. I mean, one of the worst devil fruits you really get is the human human fruit. There, there, you gotta be kidding me! Oh no, that's a real fruit. Uh, try to someone from Straw Hat Pirates ate that fruit. Ah, oh, I feel sorry for him. Oh no, it was a reindeer. What? Yeah, started talking to everything. You should have seen his bounty when he first started. It was adorable. What? Oh yeah. Oh, oh Christ. This is. You gotta be kidding me. Seriously. Animals? People, heck, even inanimate objects. I mean, this one asshole had a, an elephant sword. What? Yeah. His sword got actually turned into an elephant. Uh, an honest got elephant. You gotta be kidding, no? This other one actually allows you to Great hands and the, you know what? 
It's too early for this. Uh, all I know is devil fruits are crazy. I have eaten a devil fruit. You have a devil fruit. All that matters now is acquiring other devil fruits before anyone unsavory gets hold of it. Oh yeah, good point. So you only found the one? Actually, I was looking for a tremor tremor fruit. I just couldn't find it until you. Uh, mm, sorry. I don't need to apologize. It is a true honor to be in your presence. Why are you looking at me like that?